hi, good morning, or afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day you are in right now. My name is Linnea Benthing, also known as Linnea Ann, also known as Ann, also known as Mimi, also known as Miss Blobfish, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video you're watching right now, and I'm about to throw a tantrum. <laughs> I'm about to throw a fit, because <laughs> I'm not happy, I'm not okay. I'm very frustrated, I'll be honest, I'm very frustrated, and they've got hiccups, so that's fun. I've been debating with myself on if this is going to be an okay topic to share, but at this point, I'm like, screw it, let's do it, because <laughs> I'm sick and tired I'm just sick and tired and frustrated, okay? I, you have to understand, I was diagnosed with autism when I was 15, um, Asperger's syndrome specifically. Um, it took me a long time to get the diagnosis from when I was in fifth grade up until I was 15 in high school. And it was a fight. It was a fight to, do, to get it done. Back then, it was really hard, and it's still really hard because most women don't get diagnosed with any form of autism until they're like in the 30s and are adults already. And I was blessed to have a family fighting for me. But the reason why I want to throw a fit and throw a tantrum right now is because of how social media and the people I watch who are fo mm, follow fellow autistics, you know, the way they talk about autism. See, I've come to the sense that autism is a different way of thinking. Okay, that autism can be a crutch, but it's ultimately just a different way of thinking about things the way a different way to see the world it's not a disability it's not an illness it's not a sickness it's just a different way of thinking a different brain development okay that's what i've come to see this that's what i've always been told and then i go on social media and i'm watching my fellow autistics that are autistic supporters, autistic advocates, and they themselves are calling autism a disease or an illness. And I just want to yell and throw punches and be like, how dare you? It's just like, what? You're, you're, I guess you live in a different world and you've grown up differently and that's you and I'm sorry for your situation and how you were raised. But I wasn't, I could never see my autism as a disease or an illness or a sickness. Something that needs to be cured, that we need to find a solution for. You're telling me that you'd rather be a robot? That you'd rather be put in this in this box? No, I could never. I could never. Yeah, sure, I have had been on medication for my ADHD and stuff because I needed help focusing. And I would love to have, you know, different things happen so I could focus better and do better. But to completely change my personality and change the way I think to fit somebody else's standard? <laughs> no. Heck no. Not happening. I'm sorry. Not my cup of tea. Not my thing. Not gonna happen. I just, I'm so frustrated with that. With that, it's just, I don't know how to put it into words. You, you want to conform to others? You want to conform yourself to be like everybody else? I'm sorry, honey, but everybody's neuro is not neurotypical. Everybody's neurodivergent in one way or another. The difference between us who have been diagnosed with stuff and those who haven't 
is just that. They're not public about it. I have so many people around me who would prefer not to have a diagnosis because they don't want to be labeled as weird or different or have or even have people come at them. And that's really sad because I know what it's like to be bullied and I know what it's like to accidentally bully somebody. Like I've accidentally mistreated somebody without even realizing it growing up. I was part of the, literally, the weird kid table, and I was happy about it, okay? Because I liked being different. I liked being myself. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know. People tell me, like, why you put labels on it in the first place if you don't like labels. Because sometimes a label is needed to figure out what is going on. And it's just like, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I'm just, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm just throwing a tantrum right now. I'm just being frustrated. And I felt like I just needed to share that with you. And, like, I know I don't share a lot of my autism journey and stuff on here. But do I really need to? Like, you see, you see what I do. Like, I love dancing. I love... Just being here for people and loving on people. Can I just do that? I don't need to be a crusader for the autism for the autism community. I sure I bring up I do talk about my autism here and there, but I I'm not trying to be one way or the other. It's just and the and the weird thing is like why do I have to say the why do I have to prove that I'm a autistic? I guess it's because people fake it. Why are you faking autism then? If you're really faking autism, why are you faking that? That's, that's like, this is something people get bullied for. Thinking differently and being different. It gets laughed at. Why do you want to pretend to... Is it because you want the negative attention? Really? Because most of the time, we get negative attention. For being different and thinking differently and acting differently and dressing differently and just being ourselves. We get negative attention for it, not positive attention. So why do you wanna why do you wanna fake it for the attention when it's mostly gonna be negative for me? Why? I don't get that. This is not something I can fake. I can't fake the fact that my muscles, when I get stressed out and my muscles hurt and I have to move them and be active to be okay. I can't fake the fact that when I hear things, sometimes it's too loud or too much and then I literally shut down. This is not something I can fake. I just, I don't know. I don't know. The thing is, Jesus loves us all no matter who we are, what we do, and what kind of, like, thing we're labeled with. And I just wish other people knew that too. That you're loved and cared about no matter what. And just to, like, he wants you to be true to yourself. And true to him. I mean, God created us beautifully and wonderfully made with our differences, whether they're physical, mental, emotional. He made us all different for our reason. Why can't we embrace that, those differences? I mean, I mean, seriously, why can't we? Where, where did it go wrong that we couldn't start embracing our differences instead of trying to conform other people to your own standard? I don't know. Okay, I think I'm done ranting and throwing my tantrum and being frustrated. I think I'm at the point where I can chill out a little bit more. So, <sighs> I hope this video today, I usually say I hope you like liked this video, but actually I don't feel that way today. I feel like, I hope this video gave you something to think about.
and consider. I hope your your thoughts are changing and the way your perspective is changing a little bit just by me being upset. <laughs> Honestly. I hope that I hope that you realize that how you think is amazing, how the way you feel is amazing, and it's it's different for everybody. And you learn how to express yourself in a safe manner that spreads love and kindness. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Anyways, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you. And may he bring you peace. May you walk down the na narrow path with him. And may he guide your way. And, you're, and, and just remember, Jesus loves you. And I do too. Sparkle on my beautiful, wonderful sparkles.